he didn't do anything to save him. If he loved his kids, I know I would have died in that apartment. I would have been living here to say how much I did to save him. I'd have been dead with him. At the conclusion of his second trial, Wesley Coonrod was found guilty today on two counts of involuntary manslaughter in Pickaway County Common Pleas Court. Coonrod was sentenced by Judge Rocky Haas to serve a total of 20 years in prison on the count. Now, what never do you have to know my kids? And these accusations, and then I don't have, I couldn't get in to save my kids. And the mother people couldn't get in to save my kids. So I'm standing here before you, Mercy at the court, I'm wondering how am I guilty of anything? These people couldn't get in, or I couldn't get in. I don't know, it's, it's unbelievable. And I'm just begging at the mercy of the court. I, I, I'm speechless. I, my ex-wife, she knows good and well that them kids was my life. And there wasn't nothing in this world I wouldn't do. I'd like protect them any which way. But I'm not forgiven night. I couldn't protect them good enough. I couldn't say it, so. That's all I've got to say. I hear, heard nothing in any of the testimony in the trial about the children suffering. The case has been all about you, and it, uh, it's court to believe that uh, the evidence is overwhelming that you violated your duty of care and protection of other children by failing not only to prevent this fire, because uh, it's clear from the evidence, even your expert said that it was an intentional fire. And in your testimony, you wouldn't blame it on your children, and perhaps you thought that was be noble. But the bottom line is, is that based on the evidence, the jury did not find that it was set by you. But the evidence is clear it was set by someone, so if that's the case, it must have been your children. Unless you said it accidentally or you know, because you're under the influence or some other way, I don't know. But the bottom line is, it doesn't matter why the fire was started, how it was started. You as their parent had a duty to save them or prevent them from happening if it was their fault, which is basically been the theory of the defense. That you are responsible. You failed in your duty to protect your children. The court finds that this is the worst form of the offense. Uh, one of the two young boys having died in this fire, and therefore it's a judgment order of the court that you be sentenced on the first count of involuntary manslaughter to a term of 10 years of correction in the session center by 4 and 5. On count 2, you are hereby sentenced to 10 years of correction in the session center by 4 and 5. Those terms were run consecutively to one another. Coonrod's ex-wife, Felicia Elliott, was emotional during the sentencing and said later that she felt that justice had been served for her two sons, Thomas, four years old, and Stephen, three years old, who were killed in a fire in March at the family's residence. I think the uh, prosecution did a really good job. Um, it takes 12 people to agree on the same thing, and that's kind of hard to do. I am happy that some justice was served, and God will serve the rest of justice when his day comes. Highland County Prosecutor Jim Grandy also said that while he still believes that Wesley Coonrod started the fire that killed the boys, he said it was a verdict he could live with. My immediate reaction to the verdict was that uh, obviously we still feel that he set the fire uh, after talking to the jury uh, and understanding where they come from. Uh, it's a verdict that we can accept and we understand. Uh, from day one, our focus in this case has been uh, to do justice for uh, Thomas and Stephen. Um, I believe that's been accomplished. Uh, I know that Felicia feels that way. Uh, and that's been the crux of this one from day one, is Thomas and, and Stephen. 
After Coonrod's first trial, wherein the jury was deadlocked on counts of aggravated arson, capital murder, and murder, the verdict today did come with a sense of closure for the family. So I am happy that we did get a, a guilty verdict on something. Maybe not murder, I want murder, but I'm happy with what we got. Wesley Coonrod indicated to the court that he does plan to appeal both.